In this video lecture, we have to talk about uh, consideration of angular momentum for a system of particles. Consider a system of n number of particles. Here, the ith particle is positioned at a distance r from the origin and the j the particle is at a distance rj from the origin. And the distance between these two is given by rij equal to ri minus uh, rj. The value of angular momentum in general is given by the formula L equal to R cross P. Here R is the position at the P the linear momentum. Suppose the angular momentum of the ith particle is taken L suffix i equal to R i cross P i. This is the position vector of the ith body and P represents the linear momentum of the ith particle. Now the rate of change of momentum of the ith particle is dLi by dt which is equal to d by dt of Ri cross Pi which is equal to dRi by dt cross pi plus ri cross dpi by dt. Here dri by dt is the last of the ith particle. This is vi. Pi is a momentum of the linear momentum of the ith particle m i p i plus r i cross d p i by d t. Actually the value of v cross v this is 0. v cross v is 0 therefore d l i by d t rate of change of orbital angular momentum of the ith particle equal to ri cross dpi by dt whereas the rate of change of momentum linear momentum is our force this is equal to ri cross fi fi is the force acting on the ith particle you know that the force acting on the ith particle is equal to Fi external plus Fji here summation over j i not equal to j internal Fi external stands for the applied force on the ith particle this is the internal force arises due to the presence of uh, the remaining n minus i particles. Now dli by dt is given by ri cross fi external plus summation over j f j internal here i not equal to j this is a rate of change of orbital angular momentum of the i particle now for the entire system just we have to take the summation for the entire system of 
for the entire system. The rate of change of orbital angular momentum is dl i by dt summation i equal to 1 to n which is equal to r i cross f i external here you have to put the summation over i r i cross f i external plus summation over i r i cross i comma j i not equal to j r i cross f j i internal now we may replace this r i in terms of r i minus uh, r j which is equal to summation over i r i cross f i external plus this r i should be replaced by r i minus r j then write on this f j i internal here you have to put the summation symbol i comma j i not equal to j this is a general form the position vector of the ith particle but we are enlarging the things to the entire system so that uh, ri should be replaced by ri minus rj here ri minus rj represents the distance between the i and the j the particle therefore this is modified as r cross f moment of the force is called the torque so this is n e that is external torque acting on the i the particle moment of the force n equal to torque which is r cross f moment of the force is called the torque external torque acting on the i the particle so this term in r i cross f i e should be replaced by external torque acting on the i the particle then this is r i j cross f j i internal already we have discussed more about the internal force on the basis of Newton's uh, term of f i j equal to minus f j i contribution from the internal force term is uh, zero we discussed the same in the case of uh, consideration of linear momentum 2 therefore this is equal to summation i equal to 1 to n n i external this is dli by dt summation i equal to 1 to n dli by dt the summation i equal to 1 to n is given by dl by dt here the external torque with the summation is n suffix e then we may say rate of change of angular momentum is equal to external torque suppose the external torque is zero then dl by dt equal to zero then 
L is a constant. Now you have to write the conclusion. If N so N E N is the superscript B zero then BL by DT equal to zero. Therefore L is constant. In the absence of an external torque, moment of the force is called the torque. The orbital angular momentum of a system of particles remains constant. This is the conclusion we have arrived. If no torque is acting on the system of particles, then the angular momentum, that is orbital angular momentum of the system remains constant. This is called uh, consideration of uh, orbital angular momentum of a system.